Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today, I'm gonna to be showing you another quick tip in Premiere Pro, and that is about the history panel. So if it's not open for you, just go up to window and then down to the history panel right here. Once you click it, it'll highlight it, and then we can get started. So what exactly is the history panel? It's really just a basic panel that shows you all the states that Premiere Pro saves. That's it. It's not something that's gonna make you an amazing editor or anything like that, but it's an important part of Premiere Pro, and I think that understanding it will really give you a little bit more flexibility in the future and it can save some work definitely if you understand that instead of having to start over you can actually just revert the state so what exactly is it we have this panel down here and you can see that there's a bunch of different things and they all have like a verb and action going with them so we have lift and override we got delete apply effect if I go into here and I click C and then I cut it you'll see that the razor tool is added so it says a razor was done and basically what this does is that every time I move change edit delete, anything like that within Premiere Pro, it saves it as a state. If we right click on here and click settings, you'll see that there are 32 states being saved right now. If you have a large computer, um, there's no reason you can't bump this number up really, really high if you really like the idea of being able to go back in time. This allows us to go off on some editing tangent. So, you know, throwing in a bunch of different footage, you know, like let's go into the project and let's throw some stuff in here. Let's really just start to mess it up and then now if we get to this point and we ha don't have a save file, so maybe our autosave wasn't working or maybe we don't have a version that we like, we can actually go backwards in time to get back to where we started or to a previous version where we liked it. So you see that there was a bunch of overwrites here of me dropping stuff in here. And if you see every time um, I click on one of these, it reverts it backwards. So I can go back up even to like apply effect, which is before any of this, and you'll see that it reverts back to that state. Now, understand that once you start from one of these, so if I'm back here, if I do something like a razor, it's going to overwrite everything past it. And that is just due to how this works, is that it's just saving a history. So once you find a history point and you wanna go forward, it's gonna delete all the, the history in the future, and it's going to re, start rewriting the future. But like I said, this is not in, you know, a life-changing sort of tool, but it's something that you can really sort of use to just revert back to work, um, go off on sort of editing, sort of creative paths, and then if you don't like it, come back. And you'll see that if you use the Control Z, that it is basically just taking a step back in the history pane. And if you use Control Shift Z, it's just going forward. So that's basically what those two are doing, is they're going backwards in all of the save states. And that's why you can hit Control Z a ton of times and go really, really far backwards, is because it's just saving all of these states. So there's always something that it can revert back to. Anyway, that is it on this tutorial. Like I said, a really simple panel, but something that I feel is really important to learn. Something that just, you know, another little caveat you can learn about Premiere Pro and continue getting better and better at editing. Thanks everyone for joining me for this tutorial. If you want to see more videos similar to this one, I make Adobe tutorials every other day, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you've got any questions, comments, or suggestions for future tutorials, throw those in the comments below, and I'd love to talk about it or create a tutorial that you want to see. And yeah, guys, until next time, see ya.